There are certain patterns that people do who succeed and certain patterns that people do who are frustrated or overwhelmed. And I want to share with you what those patterns are because this is not about just giving you some little time planner because that's not going to change your life, nor, nor will a piece of software. What will change your life is learning how to control and direct your own mind and emotions and doing it in a way that really gives you what you want versus what maybe your environment may be demanding from you right now. I hope that sounds like a journey that's enticing to you because if it is, I think that the skills you're going to get here will give you a lot more than what you expected when you signed up for this course. Now, by the way, you signed up for a program here called More Time, and yet you know there isn't any more. So why would you sign up for a course like that? Well, probably because inside of you, you know that there's more time for what matters for you if you restructured your life a little bit. You may not know how to do that, but a part of you knows that that's really possible or you wouldn't even take in a program like this. In fact, I got a really important question for you. And that is, what is time? I mean, think about it. What is it? What would you say if somebody said, what is time? Well, people have all kinds of interesting answers that they oh, it's a calendar. It's, it's, it's a measure of activity, some people say. But I would say to you that time is nothing but emotion. Time is a feeling. And we forget that. And that's why we get stressed. Because we don't think about our feelings. We create to-do lists. And we focus on activities. And very often, we get all of our to-do lists done. We cross off all the activities. But we're still not fulfilled. And many times, we've got a bunch of movement. But we really don't have any achievement, much less these good feelings that we're pursuing. I mean, think about it. Time, you've had experiences in your life where time flew, right? Where hours may have felt like minutes, especially if you're with somebody you love or you're doing something that really juiced you as a person, something you're really passionate about. So you and I got to get clear that if we're going to have more time, what we really have to have is more of the emotions we deserve, that we're going to have to learn how to direct and shape our own lives in a new way. And by the way, the promise that's been given to us throughout the years was that technology was going to give us more time, right? How's that work for you so far? I don't know about you, but I found that as my life became somewhat more successful, it actually became much more stressful. And with technology, instead of that freeing me, in some ways, and it's my own fault, the technology almost became the master of my life. I found myself limiting and living a life that felt limited by all these reactions I was having. And what I mean by that is work no longer was a, something I did at the office. Work was something that followed me on my belt with my beeper. It showed up in emails wherever I was in the world, and it showed up on my cellular telephone. And I was constantly reacting and then wondering why, gosh, I have all this activity and I have no time, and gosh, I'm not really feeling very happy even though I'm doing some good things. The reason is because there is one thing, and it's not technology, that'll change your life. And you know what's great about this one thing is it's one of the most powerful forces in your life. And the good news is this force, this power is something you've been using your whole life. And that is the power of focus. Just by changing what we focus on, we change literally what we feel. What you focus on to a great extent determines whether you're succeeding or whether you're failing in your business, in your career, with your children, in your intimate relationships as well. So focus really determines the quality of our lives. Whether or not you're fulfilled or whether or not you just feel stressed is really a matter of focus. And ultimately, your achievement level is clearly directed on where do you focus? Where do you put your energy, your emotion, your time? But the challenge is that most of us don't direct it consciously.